So at this point I've chucked the piece of wood, the piece of cypress, onto the lathe and I've rounded it up. I also turned a couple of tenons on both sides. Uh, I made the tenon on both sides so I will be able to uh, start the shape on one side, create the body and the head and then the snout uh, and then I will be able to still chuck it from the other side uh, in case I would want to hollow out the body so it will be more like a piggy bank it's quite nice piece there's a small crack here uh, I hope that by the time I'll uh, make the final shape it will be turned away and if not we're just going to fill it up uh, apart from that there's this small bar conclusion uh, it will be turned off because this is the part where I'll mostly make the snout a small crack also over here but I'm pretty confident it will turn out so I'll just remove it from the centers and chuck it up using the jaws and we'll take it to the next step This chain 
is getting to me You made a slave I want to be set free Our word There is no we Your world is you I wish that you would see don't have money ain't got a name all I got from you is a dollar or two and a woman around to blame I don't have money I don't have fame all I got's my word and this here bird and a woman around to blame This way is weighing me down I'm shackled up inside of your wretched town So at this point the head is sending down to 600 the head and the snout and I've swapped the directions around so now I will be able to cut off as much as I can from the back side or the tail side and I will finish sending up the body also to 600. So as you can see the shape has come a little bit out of center. The head is above the center of the body so it gives it a more natural look and later on when I'll add the four legs and I'll give it eyes, ears and the mouth it should be a pleasing form. Get a new and tie it around. This neck of stone, it's better than being bound. I don't have money, ain't got a name. So, this is the hem body. As you can see, off center head and centered body. This is sanded down to 600 and I still haven't applied any finish on it. You can see the radial cracks all around here. Obviously, this is where the pit was. So the cracks go all around the body. I think it gives a lot of character to the wood itself. All I got from you is a dollar or two And a woman around to blame I don't have money I don't have fame All I got's my word And this here bird And a woman around to blame All I know is you will go Wherever that wind will take you Why do I always abide Where the devil's debts I do I don't have money Ain't got a name All I got from you Is a dollar or two And a woman around to blame I don't have money I don't have fame All I got's my word This here bird And a woman around to blame Okay, so what I have here is one of the feet that I've turned There we go And I'm going to send the feet to the required angle. I'm gonna start with one, if that works okay, then I'll do the, the rest. But we always need to start with one. So I've marked generally uh, the angle that I want to send to, which is about 40 degrees, which will give me a flat spot for the foot to sit on and the rest of the wood to carve out the fingernails from. So I've got a protractor over here set for 40 degrees so I could check my work constantly 
and see that I'm at the right angle. And I got my sanding wheel set up on my lathe with a piece of board clamped down uh, to my uh, serpentine tool rest, so it sits flat. So there's nothing much to it, just start sanding away. Everything, everything, everything I touch will break And every day, every day, every day you give and I take that I can But fate never followed my plans I'm holding you back So I want you to pack up and grow made a small mock-up and a test of carving ham's snout and mouth and uh, actually I think it came out much better than I expected it to come out it looks very much like the character there we go let me give you a reference so in most of these pictures the mouth is uh, more open but definitely you can see that he can have his mouth closed and the shape and the general feel of it is quite similar. So uh, now I'm just going to have to transfer this test to the large scale piece and hopefully I won't mess it up.
sticks in the mud As monuments we stood Ridiculous and good Death defied How it's going to work I hope. I have a piece of wood here, flat wood, uh, with a couple of strips of double-sided glue, uh, tape, double-sided tape, and I'm going to place the feet uh, in their approximate position, and then I'm going to place my pig on top of them and see if the position is correct. If it is correct, I will mark the position of the feet, I will score the wood so it will have a better grip and then I will apply the glue on the feet and the uh, wood itself and I will place the pig on the feet. I will use this, these strings to tie it down and give it some pressure and I hope all of this works and the glue up will be successful. So that's theoretically what is going to happen. I hope this works. I've been rolling, I've been wheeling. Can I get no sleep? Over bridges, under the mountain, rolling through. Oh, 
track like fire, fire see me through. Pick the right train, I could be rolling, rolling back to you. Take it man when you see my face, when it's short, don't need to tell me this is the right train. It's the right train. Oh my ticket, book my place, buckle up, let's go. I know that this is the right train. It's the right train.
to thank you for joining me in this week's video. Please check out the video description for the other makers in this collaboration and there you will also find the link for the auction. All these toys that we've made inspired by the movie Toy Story uh, will be auctioned off and the proceedings will be donated to charities dealing with children with autism.